Hello to my Yarny family. How are you all doing today? Today is January 26, and I'm going to be reading to you from my devotional book, Jesus Calling, Enjoying Peace in His Presence by Sarah Young. Here we go. Give up the illusion that you deserve a problem-free life. Part of you is still hungering for the resolution of all difficulties. This is a false hope. As I told my disciples, in the world you will have trouble. Link your hope not to problem solving in this life to the promise of an eternity of problem-free life in heaven. Instead of seeking perfection in this fallen world, pour your energy into seeking me, the perfect one. It is impossible to enjoy me and glorify me in the midst of adverse circumstances. In fact, my light shines most brightly through believers who trust me in the dark. That kind of trust is supernatural, a production of my indwelling spirit. When things seem all wrong, trust me anyway. I am much less interested in right circumstances than in right responses to whatever comes your way. Here are the verses. I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace. In this world you will have trouble, but take heart, I have overcome the world. That is John chapter 16, verse 33. Even in darkness, light dawns for the upright. For the gracious and compassionate and righteous man, he will have no fear of bad news. His heart is steadfast, trusting the Lord. That is Psalm 112 verses 4 and 7. I thank you, Heavenly Father, for your word and for your guidance and for your trustworthiness. I thank you for your indwelling spirit within us, Heavenly Father. I ask you, Lord, to help those who need to remember that, that you are with them, you are for them. I want you to tell me in the comment section below this video of ways that we can do this. I'm looking for ideas as much as you. Uh, how can we, when we have problems and we trust, say, I trust you, Lord. God, I give it up to you. Help me be a better, um, be better at relying on you, Heavenly Father. I ask you to be with everyone that I've been praying for in my prayer list, including Susan. Hello, Tofu. And Teresa Patton. And Nisi and her family, Lord. I lift them all up to you. You know the circumstances. You know that they all need blessings in their lives. Um, 
Ravanth asks for prayer or for um, blessings for you to help his uh, business and his garden to flourish. Heavenly Father, do what's best for him, Lord. I pray for um, Elaine. I ask you to bless her family, Heavenly Father. I pray for Lydia, Lord, with the double ear infection. I lift all these prayer needs up to you, Heavenly Father. I ask it in Jesus' name. Thank you all for being here, for listening to these devotionals. I pray they speak to you as much as they speak to me. I um, hope you have a wonderful day, and I will see you in my next video. Have a great day, everyone. Thanks for watching.